So this Evolving Skies booster box is going for around $700 now. If you think that sounds crazy, it is. It seems pretty crazy to me, but I did find this big bin filled with all different types of sealed product, and I saw some stuff that has Evolving Skies packs in it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're in the studio right now, and I was digging through some stuff, and I found a bin filled with a bunch of sealed product that I haven't seen in a little while. I kind of forgot about it. Looking up Evolving Skies boxes, looking up all this different stuff in Pokemon cards, and the hype right now is Evolving Skies. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's like, have you seen Evolving Skies booster boxes? They're going for $500, $600, $700, and just keeps going up, and it's kind of like the big talk of Pokemon cards right now. Um, so I thought we'd talk about it. And the one cool thing, and really why I even have this bin here, and we're going to dig through this in a second, is because I know there's some products in here that actually have Evolving Skies packs in them. So we're gonna dig through and see if we can figure out which products have these Evolving Skies packs. Cause I, I wanna open up Evolving Skies, but it doesn't make sense to open this box up anymore, like at all. Okay, so check this out. This is TCG Player where they have pricing on a lot of stuff. And what I saw here is that they're hitting $700 just about. And you could see this chart here. This is just the last three months. It went from $400 to almost $700. And it just gets crazier and crazier. When will it stop? What's interesting too is the lowest listed is 686. It says the market price right now is $656. But it's kind of weird because if you go through here and you look at like sellers and stuff, there's people that's like, I don't think this person, I don't know what the rules are, but like they have a Korean booster box on here. And then there's other people that have like loose packs, but in a box, which is going to go for less than a sealed box, a lot less. But what's interesting to me is that they, I guess they're allowed to, to have them on here in just in the box opened, uh, but it says unopened. It's kind of weird. And I'm not trying to call anybody on it. It's just kind of interesting for the pricing data because if you go to sales, these all show up on here, like even this Korean box, which brings the price down to six, like it, it has to affect the market price at some, some capacity, especially when there's boxes like these ones that sell. So it's kind of interesting, like the market price on this stuff. Is this thing accurate? What do you guys think? Do you think that this is is like the sort of like all two for a market price of something when there's kind of like this huge variance in stuff where you could see like it's just certain boxes will sell and then there's certain parts where it's like just, you know, an open box with packs in it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, let's get back to business. Let's find some sealed product, hopefully, that has Evolving Skies in it. And let's open up a bunch of cool stuff and see what we can pull. All right, first out of here is definitely going to be one of these Eraser Double Pack Blisters. I remember these came out not too long ago. It doesn't seem like it was long ago at all, honestly. Um, I honestly don't remember when this came out. It says 2022 on the back, but I, I guess it was a little while ago, right? So there's actual Radiant and Evolving Skies in this, which is really cool to see. So let's open that up. We're just gonna dig through this, find some stuff in here. We got some Pokemon Go action here with the Pikachu promo card on here. I'm gonna put some stuff to the side and we'll kind of figure out what we'll open up as we go through this bin here of just like, it's it's random stuff, but it is all sealed stuff. Um, okay, so this Sylveon tin and like, you know, I know we open Pokemon cards here every day, but I do forget what certain packs are in certain tins and stuff like that. I feel like this one has a good chance of having Evolving Skies in it. I could be completely wrong. It says 2022, and there's Evolutions on here. So let's put that in the open pile. I might switch some stuff back and forth as we go through here. Um, I don't think this is going to be a Pokemon Go kind of day, but we have like one of these mini tin things that are still sealed with all the little mini tins in there, which is, which is cool. Um, and there's... Oh, actually, I think... I think these have Evolving Skies in them. This is, these, this is the Pencil Tin two booster packs this was released with the eraser things if i remember that correctly it was like it was dusty let's open up that too because i think that has a good chance of having some evolving skies in there um we do have some more tins i don't think this is going to have it in there we'll put that to the side pokemon go maybe for another video but not today i don't feel like opening pokemon go today um what's this box oh there's some cool stuff in here there's a glaceon v-star box fusion strike oh there we go <laughs> Uh, this one's ripped a little bit. That's perfect. Let's open up this too. 
that to the side. And, oh, okay. I don't want to open up all of these, though. This is an Eevee one. Maybe we'll open an Eevee one, too. This Pikachu one we'll put to the side, though. We got the Professor Juniper milk carton. There's a new version of these coming out really soon. So that'll be cool to see. But this was, I think, the second version of milk cartons that they made. Oh, this might have a bobbing sky. This is going to be in the maybe pile. That, that one's a maybe. I don't know if I want to open that up. A bunch more eraser. Oh, here's one. Oh, the pack's still in here? Wait a second. This... Uh, this could be, this could tell us actually. Oh, <laughs> the Evolving Skies hunt continues. Nice. There is some. Okay, perfect. We'll open this because it's already open. That's good to see. Let's see what else we got in here. A bunch. The mini tins, Pokemon Go. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing Pokemon Go today. I'm just not feeling the Pokemon Go vibe. Um, what's this? Leafeon V-Star box. There's like a random code card moving around in there. See that? <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe we'll do a little Leafeon too since there's an Avami Skies in there. And then let's, oh, there's another Sylveon, so I do have another one of those. I have more of these too if we need any of them. Let's check out with this Lucario V-Star Premium Collection box. I don't see any Evolving Skies. I see a lot of Fusion and Brilliant Stars in there. We probably won't open that one up. But I think that's a good amount of stuff to open up. And uh, this one's a maybe. This one, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. We'll put that to the maybe section. Okay, let's open up some stuff. All right, so let's get started with something that we know that has evolving skies in it. This pencil case. What's funny is that these don't actually come with pencils either. You would think that they would include like a Pokemon pencil or something, but it's just the case. And then there's two booster packs, one evolving skies, one astral radiance. All right, so let's start with the astral radiance. We're trying to open as many evolving skies packs as we can here and hopefully get something pretty crazy out of this. But I basically, I don't know, I refuse at this point to open up um, evolving skies booster boxes. It just makes zero sense. And, um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. It's just crazy. Like, they got to be pushing $700 by now. Ooh, nice. The Gardevoir Trainer Gallery into a Registeel. Black shirt's on now. I can't, for some reason, my camera is just overexposed like crazy if I wear any, like, light colors, like white and stuff like that. I should probably figure that out one of these days. Like, just like that backboard, I'll figure that out one day. But here's our first Evolving Skies pack. Let's see if this is, I think it's a reprint version. Yeah, so this is a reprint version, but... Still, you get the, all the pulls and everything like that. You can just tell from the code card on the back. But Sword and Shield Era in general, um, people are starting to people are starting to put some respect on Sword and Shield Era. I gotta say, like obviously we could open up other stuff too, like Chilling Rain, like all these other sets. Lost Origin still cheap. Brilliant Stars isn't too bad either. I mean, compared to Box Guides, it's like pennies on the dollar. But um, it's just like the focus right now. I'm just. I just want to open up some of these guys because everybody's just talking about it so much. It's like, we might as well just open some up. <laughs> also, really quickly, just want to let you guys know that the Pokemon 4.0 packs are back in stock. And this is the final wave that we're doing for those. And then we're going to be moving on to the 5.0s. So we want the last wave of the 4.0 packs. They're in stock now. All we do is click that first link down below in the description. Let's open up this Pikachu Racer Blister thing here next. Uh, obviously, there's an Obami Skies pack in there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Personally, I really like... I get, I guess, like, I don't really get the, I kind of get the Evolving Skies, but I really don't, honestly. The price for the booster boxes is crazy, and I personally could care less if the price of the boxes is up or down, like, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just kind of, like, here just watching it happen, um, and uh, it's just interesting. It's just interesting to see it, because it's not an old set at all. In fact, you could probably still find packs in stores, depending on if you get super lucky and they have restock of certain things, or, I mean... I feel like you could probably get lucky once in a while. Like, oh, there's all different ways to get a body size back still. There's still ways. Um, ooh, okay. Radiant Greninja? All right, all right, all right. Forgot about Radiant cards. Uh, it's interesting. But yeah, honestly, I I'm not going to lie either. Like, I, I started appreciating Sword and Shield Era more as well. Um, just because the focus, I feel like, is also different in Scarlet and Violet. The focus seems to be different is all. Like, it's... A lot more of the newest generation Pokemon and you know as, as hard I personally don't fully connect with the newest generation um, as much like with Scarlet and Violet like I haven't really had time to play the games I played maybe like three hours of the game haven't had time to play it at all rescue carrier and Zygarde all right let's see what's inside of this tin I don't remember but I feel like there's a good chance that there could be evolving skies in here let's just see what happens um, man what's your guys opinions on it let me know let me know what you think. But all the other booster boxes from Sword and Shield, I mean, obviously compared to Evolving Skies are way less. Pretty much every single one of them. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Sylveon V card, okay. 
I'm gonna get that out. If I can, okay, I guess we'll just do this. That's fine. I've never seen that happen like that before. It was really stuck. Sylveon V, and then there's gonna be your code card in there as well. So let me grab that code card, and then the Sylveon V card. Let's see if there's any Evolving Skies packs in here. Also completely forgot, but I wanted to mention, I might as well mention it now. I'm gonna give away one of those sealed eraser, uh, or not eraser, the uh, pencil case things to one subscriber here. All you gotta do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. We got two brilliant stars. We got fusion. Oh, okay, yeah, it is in there, nice. I completely did not expect that, nice. And a chilling rain. That's a nice lineup. That's a really nice lineup. Yeah, okay, let's just go straight through with this. Brilliant Stars. Definitely one of my favorite sets from Sword and Shield era. I think the boxes are still like $130, $140 or something like that. So, I mean, like, how many boxes of that can you buy compared to one box of August Guys? Like, four or five, something like that? Moltres. But everybody likes the artwork in Evolving Skies. There's a lot of good artworks in Evolving Skies. I will not take that away at all from Evolving Skies. There's a lot of good artworks. But, like, at this point, it makes zero sense to open a box up. It's, I mean, like, sometimes I've seen people open a box. I've opened a box of Evolving Skies before. They had, like, no hits. No full arts. Nothing better than, like, the regular cards, basically. Like, regular V cards, basically. Um, it was, like, the best that I've gotten out of sometimes out of boxes of Avon Skies, which is crazy. Ooh, okay, that's not a good code card though. Let's go through here. These cards are like so messed up. Oh, what's going on with that? Um, but this is straight out of that tin. We got nothing. All right, let's let's do the chilling rain and then we'll do the Avon Skies. But yeah, uh, do you guys think the price is gonna keep going up on those boxes? Do you think that they'll come down? Do you, what do you think is gonna happen with that? It is interesting though. If you wanna just open up packs, you can just get loose packs for a lot less than the sealed box. The sealed box is like a collectible in itself, I guess. All right, Evolving Skies. We are actually, we're three for three right now on having at least one Evolving Skies pack in every product that we've opened up, which is surprising. <laughs> uh, let's go, Toy Catcher. Come on, we got Rufflet. Oh man. All right, we got a Leafeon V-Star box and there's Evolving Skies is falling. It's in there, but it's, it's moving around. So some stuff's getting moving around inside this collection box. So let's open it up, let's see what we got. All right, we got the Leafeons everywhere. We got the Jumbo Leafeon right there. There's two Leafeons here, Leafeon V and a Leafeon V-Star. And, oh, V-Star markers, can't forget these. Be everywhere. Two Fusion Strike. Oh, wait a second. Two Evolving Skies, same artwork. Two code cards for some reason. That's definitely not supposed to be like that. I don't know what's happening. Are we supposed to get this many packs? Two Evolving Skies Sylveon artworks and a Chilling Rain. Five packs. Um, yeah, five. Okay, it's supposed to be five packs. That's right. Five packs. All right, the Evolving Skies. We'll save for last. Let's do the Chilling Rain pack first. Let's see how we do on this one. All right. Let's see if we get some cool pulls. And there's these sets have some really, really big pulls that are really sought after. Oh, yeah. No. Sandaconda regular V card. So far, just regular Vs. Trainer Gallery. Oh, that's just completely ruined that one. So let's just go through it. I don't think there's going to be anything sent to Scorch. All right, let's keep going. Fusion Strike up next here. Then we got two Evolving Skies. Can we get the Moonbryon, which is another thing that's crazy. I don't even know what that card's worth now. And a 9, I think it's like just jumped to like $1,000 in a PSA 9. For just a 9, a 10, I have no idea. The Chandelure. Why am I getting the worst V card? Wait, sorry. I apologize. I think I meant to say $1,000 in a 10, not in a 9. Yeah, it looks like... Well, like a thousand to twelve hundred ish in, in 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 a ten, not a nine. All right, brain wasn't working there for a second, but yeah. But raw, it's like I think it, I don't know. I don't know how much it is raw, but it's probably not too far off from that, honestly. Um, all right, let's go. Wobby Sky's pack, one of two in this box. It's getting crazier. Open this setup. All right, so we might as well pull it up. Market price is around six hundred dollars on the Moonbryon. This is the lowest, so that could be like. Played, like heavy played or something like that, but the Rayquaza is like 250. This Leafeon, yeah, I don't know if you can see it's 160. Like all these cards are just crazy in this set. All right, we got one more Bombing Skies pack from this collection box here. Oh wait, ooh, it's the old code card. Why is that card messed up? One, two, okay, three, four. It's not the rare though. Some of these cards are like messed up out of the, out of the pack. Um, let's go. Come on. So that's this is an original print run. 
Phoebus. Man, can't get anything. All right, now here's this thing, but sealed this time. Let's see if it's the same as the one that was already opened up. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. Can we get evolving? Yeah, I see it. Evolving skies. Okay, there we go. Trying to get stuff out of these packs is tough. It's like <laughs> $700 for a box and then can't pull anything. Hoot hoot. Nice. Trainer Gallery, we're doing good in some of these other sets, though. Give me some luck in Evolving Skies, please. I don't want to look at the code card. Try to look at it. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, one, two, three, four. That card's off center. It's an energy. That's way off. Okay. We got Gold Duck. Can we get anything in Revolving Skies? I'm just going to get absolutely nothing. Oh, Gyarados, regular VMAX. Not that crazy. Pack's probably worth more than this definitely worth more than the card <laughs> it's crazy all right have no fear we have Eevee here that was corny okay Eevee coming out we got evolving skies astral radiance Eevee there we go so Pikachu and Eevee are two erasers how could you use them as erasers though they're too good looking hoot hoot like, once you erase on them, they're done. Bobby Skies pack number what? Eight today? One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. Something like that. Gyarados B Max is all we got so far out of it. Crazy. All right. I just refuse to open a whole booster box. It's just too crazy. You could literally just buy the Moonbrion and have another car on top, card on top of that, too. Personally, between you and me, or whoever's watching this, I like the other Umbreon more than the Moonbrion. I've always liked the other Umbreon a lot more, and it's only about 100 bucks. I'm probably the only person, I don't know anybody else that would actually, like, agree with me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would, would agree with me or not. I like this artwork more, but it's a it's a V, it's, it's an alt art too, like, and it's way cheaper. Oh, just shot up. I don't know. <laughs> As I'm saying it, it's already, already, it's already $10. No, but yeah, it has, it's shot up like $10, which is not much compared to, like, the the Moonbreon, but I like this card more than the Moonbreon. Moonbreon card's cool. Don't get me wrong. I just like that one more. I always have. Okay. So this is going to be our Glaceon. Our Glaceon box where we saw at least one, but now I think there might be... Oh, there is two. Nice. Yeah, because it's like you can't see. The other one's right there. Like they double stacked it or whatever and it moved. Glaceon. Two Glaceon V card or V Glaceon and a V star. V star marker. Two fusion, one code card this time. Just one, just one. Uh, two evolving, one chilling rain. Okay, can we get anything from evolving skies today is the question. Or will we forever have no pools? Let's see. Here we go. We got four from the back on this one. Give me some evolving skies luck on the last packs, please. Something like an alt art would be great, but... It's tough. It is tough to get those pulls. There's like a whole little throwback here. I can't believe this is a throwback now. Sword and Shield. We're doing short. Sword and Shield is a throwback. Jinx. The Lynx. Cinderus. Regular V. Regular V. Cinderus. Okay. Fusion Strike. Send. And then we're going to end it off with two more Bobby Sky Spacks. And we will have opened like 10 Bobby Sky Spacks, I want to say. Something like that. Just from random products. Ladius. All right, come on. We need some Evolving Skies luck. Save the Moonbrion for last. Here we go. All right. Should we look at the code card? Oh, good code card. We have a chance. One, two, three, four. Okay. Come on. 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 It's time to get something. Eevee. Cutie fly. Give me something better than something. Oh my god, it's like the worst ever that you can get. We are so bad on this. Oh, why? Oh, Corona V. Oh my god, that's... Alright, last pack. Please be magical. This is why I refuse to open up booster boxes of this set. Makes no sense. Unless you're crazy, then go for it. I don't know. Swoobat, Swablu. We're kind of crazy here. Lombre! Oh, Bobbing Skies. 
Unbelievable. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.